Welcome back everyone to the second part of the BCW Redo World Rumble. We are now going to the BCW Men's Championship Matches. The next match is for the BCW Intercontinental Championship. The challenger is a Joseph Collin, and he will take on the BCW Intercontinental Champion, Dio Patterson of the NWO 2020, and also representing BUW. And as a matter of fact, uh, Joseph Collin has his own YouTube channel called the Big Fight Field Podcast. <clears throat> now, I keep saying this to death, but uh, the logo that you see on his channel, I made the logo for him. Anyway, will Joseph Collin become the new champion, or will Dia retain? We'll find out as soon as these guys uh, enter the ring. Big fight field, baby! to the ring first the number one contender <clears throat> from the big five field podcast channel on youtube joseph conlin Fight feel, baby! Come on, Nexus's opponent! The BCW Intercontinental Champion, representing BUW and NWO 2020, Dio Patterson. That's what it's all about right there, the BCW Intercontinental Championship. Dio hands the belt over to Jamal Hydro. Jamal shows the belt to Joseph. And he raises the belt high. Will Joseph Collin become a new champion? Or will Dio Patterson retain? We shall find out in less than 30 minutes. Both men lock up. A little chain wrestling to start off. Ooh, reversal of the waist lock by a Joseph. Joseph with a waist lock takedown. Holds on to the waist. And just pushes a Dio down. Left hand counter by Dio. Dio with a climb up drop kick. Full over neck breaker by Joseph. Kick to the back, but it looked like he may have uh, kicked him right, right in the head and a stomp to the knee. Elbows to the gun, counter by Dio. Another climb up drop kick. Kick 
catches it on the counter by Joseph. Ooh, a bicycle kick. Nora likes two likes by Dio, but then home down for the pin. And kind of a smart thing because uh, Joseph's feet were right by the ropes. Dragging Joseph away from the ropes. And a neck snap. Joseph kicks a Dio away. And Joseph with some right hands. And stops right to the gut. Short thrust cower by a Dio. A stop right to the back. Rams the armor to the mat. Back up will cower by Joseph. Clothesline by Joseph. Dio pushes a Joseph away. A gut punch by Joseph. Oh, what a slap by Joseph. Kicks to the gut. Into the Patella Brain Buster. Going for the pin. Dio kicks on it too, and Joseph can't believe it. Uh oh, is Joseph going for it? Kicks to the thigh, and into the last shot. Joseph goes for the pin. Dio kicks on it too, and again, Joseph can't believe it. Joseph goes on top. Oh, went for a splash, but Dio brought the knees up. But whoa, Joseph got right up, though. Kicks to the gut, and a DDT by Joseph. Clothesline counter by Dio. Which to the ropes. Drops down. And a back elbow. Kind of an old school move there by a Joseph. Punch inside and elbow to the side of the head by a counter by a Dio. Move to the corner. Dio throws a Joseph to the outside. For a torpedo DDT. European uppercut kind of counter by Joseph. Headbutt counter by Dio. A little clash into the heads here between a <clears throat> between a Dio and Joseph. Big right hand counter by Dio. Ooh, stuns it from the power on the outside by Dio. Kicks to the leg by a Joseph. Uh oh, now we're by the timekeeper and the ring announcer. Jawbreaker counter by Joseph. Jab counter by Dio. Ooh, a needed head counter by a Joseph after a suplex attempt by a Dio. And a neckbreaker. And they're still fighting by the ring announcer and a, the timekeeper. Ooh, what an insecurity by a Joseph. Joseph's back in the ring. Dio better get back in quickly. <clears throat> but then again, even the matches by a count out, Joseph cannot win the championship. Dio's back in, and Joseph taunts the crowd. Ooh, a half and half suplex by a by Dio. Whip to the corner. Ooh, the Huluva kick. That's how a deal won the championship with Duhop. <clears throat> Joseph kicks on it too, and it looked like uh, his hand was like right by the bottom rope. Man, a lot of referees haven't really been noticing a lot of like hands or feet by the bottom rope when he do the three counts. A clothesline. Another clothesline. Ducks underneath. Another climb up dropping it by Dio. And now he's got the crowd right behind him. Dio with a red thunder bomb. Elbows in the gut counter by a Joseph. Moves to the corner. 
spins Deer on the corner. Oh, looks like he's going for it. The New Jersey Destroyer. Go for the pin. Oh, but Dio kicks out at two. Joseph is getting frustrated. Arm drag car by Dio. And a DDT on the ground. Whips in the corner. <clears throat> Dio misses a drop kick. Another whip to the corner. Kicks to the gun counter and a reversal in the corner by Joseph. Dio returns the favor. Dio with a trio woe. And kick right to the gut. <clears throat> Look at the boutique starting to send in for Dio. Uh oh, is Dio going for it? Kicks to the gut. Into a floor over Brain Buster. Go for the pin. Could this be it? Oh, Joseph kicked out at two and three quarters. Oh, Dio misses with that springboard moonsault. Oh, a super kick. Into the straight jacket German suplex, but <clears throat> Dio got his feet right by the ropes. Short throw counter again by Dio. Blocks a chop. Whips to the corner. Turns Dio around. Oh, he's going for it again. Another New Jersey destroyer. Going for the pin. And we have a new VCW Intercontinental Champion. Go back to the replay. Dio Paris hits a Joseph Conlon with the Haluva kick. And then Dio hits the Red Thunder Bomb. <clears throat> Joseph with the first of two attempts of the New Jersey Destroyer. That also got him the pin, the win, and the BCW Intercontinental Championship. There's that pull over Brain Buster by, uh, by Dio Patterson. Here's the winner of the match and the new BCW Intercontinental Champion, Joseph Conlin. Congratulations, Joseph. You deserve it. Not only for yourself, but for the Big Five Field Podcast on YouTube. Coming up next is the VCW World Tag Team Championship match. The challengers are Tony Chini and Joey Angelo of the Royal Familia, and they will take on the VCW World Tag Team Champions, Broken Mike and Lucas Hackett, Le Broken Carnage. Will the Royal Familia reclaim the championships, or will Le Broken Carnage retain the championships? We'll have to find out very shortly. And of course, waiting in the wings is, of course, uh, the Alpha Males, Ruben and Hunter P. And I just found out also that in the next episode of BCW Into the Fire, there will be a non title rematch between Joseph Codlin and Dio Patterson. If Dio Patterson wins, He'll get another chance at the BCW Intercontinental Championship, but it'll be in a three-way elimination match that will feature a Big Bubba Sanders, since he's the number one contender to the BCW Intercontinental Championship.
Cox of the Ring first, the challengers and former VCW World Tag Team Champions, Tony Chini and Joey Angelo, the Royal Familia. <clears throat> Representing GTS and also a uh, LTW, which I believe stands for Lock Target Wrestling. And not that other LTW that Grimm re <clears throat> references. In <clears> fact, <throat> I just found out that uh, Joey Angelo just had a birthday not too long ago. So what a birthday present would be for him if he and uh, Tony Chini win back the uh, VCW World Tag Team Championships. The VCW World Tag Team Champions, Broken Mike and Lucas Hackett, Le Broken Carnage. And of course, a Broken Mike is the owner of BUW, and Lucas Hackett also is a part of BUW. And of course, he's the owner of a CCW Cartoon Carnage Wrestling. Listen to that crowd uh, get <clears throat> sing along to the song of Fozzie by <clears throat> Judas by Fozzie. And I almost got <clears throat> I almost got mixed up again, Big Bubba. And that's what I'm talking about right there, the VCW World Tag Team Championships. Lucas and Mike <clears throat> hand the bells over to Dennis and Menace Mitchell. And he raises him high. Will the Royal Familiar regain the championships, or will they broken cars retain? We shall find out in less than 30 minutes. Ooh, a close line by Tony G to start off the match. And he stops away at Mike. And Tony's got a crowd rallying behind him. European overcut a counter by Mike. Mike with a Mission Yoku driver. A stop right to the face. A deadlift sit out power bomb by Mike. Double a takedown by a Tony. Back by drop counter by Mike. Kicks it. Ooh, a stunner by Tony. Back by drop counter again by Mike. Mike with a snap gut wrench suplex. Whip to the corner. A reversal in the corner. Oh, and Tony just whipped uh, Mike right into the referee. <clears throat> Tony whips uh, Mike over the top rope onto the apron. And now Joey and Mike are fighting on the outside. Ooh, a fireman's carry flapjack there by Joey. 
forearm counter by Mike. Kick to the gut counter by Joey. Another kick to the gut. <clears throat> it was a suplex on the outside by Joey. Forearm counter by Joey. Oh, Joey over a nightmare with Mike pushed him away. Ooh, a big right hand by Mike. Ramsey Armour to the mat on the outside. Mike throws Joey back into the ring. Ooh, an elbow right to the head by Mike. Ooh, a big right hand by Mike. Ooh, the broken code. Surprised that Mike didn't go for a pin on that one. Joey kicks a Mike away. Kicks to the gun counter by Mike. Whips to the corner. Kicks to the leg by a Joey. Joey's got Mike up again. For another fireman's carry flapjack. Whip to the corner. Tags Tony in. Uh oh, they're going for it. The Royal Familia Neckbreaker. Tony goes for the pin. Lucas breaks up the pinfall before there was even a one count. It was like a zigzag there by a Joey. And that causes Lucas to roll to the outside. <clears throat> Mike stops the hand away and gives a Tony a backbreaker. Another broken code. It's like Mike be going for it again. <clears throat> no, the broken twist of fate. That's how he defeated the Tony G on last week's episode of VCW Into the Fire. <clears throat> Joy breaks up the count at one. Mike rolls to the outside, goes right back in. And Mike getting the crowd right, dry right behind him. European arm cut counter by Tony. <clears throat> arm drag counter by Mike. Big right hand. Right hand to the gut. <clears throat> Sends a Tony up on the second rope. And buries his knee right onto the back. And Mike tags Lucas in. And there's a hot tag made by Tony to Joey. Flying for him by Joey. Lucas tucks a clothesline. Moves to the corner, and another clothesline by a Joey. Snaps two plays by Joey. And a stomp to the face. Ooh, a fist drop there by Joey. Kicks to the gun by Lucas. Fireman's carry car by Joey. Lucas with a reverse DDT counter. Lucas goes for the pin. Oh, Joey kicks out at one. Lucas with a side headlock. Ooh, and Joey comes up with a side headlock of his own. But he lets it go. I think that was a mistake. Forearm by Joey. Whoa, but Lucas comes back with a rebound lariat. European arm cut counter by Joey. Oh, Joey's got Lucas up. Ooh, the airplane spin into the apartment get in. Joey goes for the pin. <clears throat> Lucas gets out at two. Lucas with a shoulder breaker thrust counter. 
Lucas tags Mike in. Oh, Zander going for it. Late broken carnage. Mike goes for the pin. Oh, Joey kicks out at two. And Lucas throws a Tony over the top rope. Arm drag counter by Joey. Ooh, short arm close on by Mike. Back elbow counter by Joey. He's got Mike up again. Another fireman to carry Flapjack. Joey with a belly to belly suplex. <clears throat> Going on top. Ooh, for the Swanton Bomb. Short throw is by Mike. Another broken code. Ooh, Mike with a deadlift power bomb. Joey kicks up Mike away. Uh oh, could Joey be going for it again? He's got Mike up again for the apartment get in. Going for the pin. Mike kicks out at two. A running forearm by Joey. And stops away at Mike. Mike with a takedown. Jawbreaker counter by Joey Angelo. Whips to the corner. Kicks to the face counter by Mike. Whips to the ropes. Blocks a kick. Elbow to the knee counter by Joey. Joey with a normal light suplex. <clears throat> Mike kicks out at two. Ooh, Joey with a shining wizard. Dragging Mike away from the ropes. Go for the pin. Can this be it? <clears throat> Mike kicks out too, but look at Lucas still trying to break up the pin anyway. And kicks in the back, doesn't face Mike one bit. Looked like a toy went for an alley oop bomb, but a broken Mike has stopped him. Uh oh, is Mike going for it again? Kicks in the gut. Into the broken twist of fate again. Go for the pin. Oh, but there's a rope break. Believe it, he's gonna try going for it again. Another broken twist of fate. Going for the pin. Joey kicks out at two again. Short breaker thrust counter by uh, Joey. Whip to the corner. And reversal in the corner. It's like a Joey's got some words there for a Mike. Oh, Joey's got him again. Another apartment get in. Go for the pin. And the Royal Familia have reclaimed the VCW World Tag Team Championships, making them the two-time VCW World Tag Team Champions. Back to the replay. The Royal Familia hits the Royal Familia neckbreaker. Broken Mike with the broken code. Mike with the broken twist of fate. <clears throat> Lucas with the rebound lariat. Lucas and Mike with the late broken with late broken carnage. Anyway, here are your winners of the match, and once again the BCW World Tag Team Champions, Tony Chini and Joey Angelo, <clears throat> the Royal Familia, represent GTS. And like I said, recently uh, Joey Angelo had a birthday, so what a birthday present for him to reclaim the VCW World Tag Team Championships. And now waiting in the wings, of course, 
are going to be the alpha males. Come on, next is the BCW World Championship. The challenger is a David Lammy, the King of Victory Champion, as he will take on Victor Wolf, the BCW World Champion, representing the Wolverines and WCC World Championship cause. Will David Lammy follow like what Victoria Wolf did and become the new BCW World Champion, or will Victor Wolf retain the BCW World Championship? Well, the finals of these two guys enter the ring, and I've also just been told that there will be a non-title rematch for the B <clears throat> between a uh, late broken Carnage and the Royal Familia on the next episode of BCW Into the Fire. And should a uh, late broken Carnage win, the uh, BCW World Tag Team Championships will be a three-team match at Victory Kingdom to redo. Comes to the ring first, the BCW World King of Victory Champion and <clears throat> the challenger, David Labby, representing Evolve. Almost called uh, David Labby the BCW World Champion, but he's not the World Champion yet. <clears throat> and also to point out, uh, the King of Victory Championship is not technically on the line, <clears throat> but that was like a, a rite of passage for uh, David Lamby to be the number one contender to the VCW World Championship. Next is his opponent, the BCW World Champion, <clears throat> representing the Wolverines and WCC World Championship cause, Victor Wolf. And I gotta say, since winning the BCW World Championship, Victor Wolf has been a one hell of a fighting champion. In fact, on the last episode of BCW Into the Fire, he and uh, Dave were involved in a four-way elimination matchup, and during that matchup, Victor Wolf made uh, Dave uh, tap out to the victorious crossface. Could he do it again tonight to retain the, the BCW World Championship? And that's what it's all about right there, the BCW World Championship. Victor hands the championship over to uh, JT Lambert. JT shows the belt off to Dave. And he raises the belt high. Will Dave Labby become the new VCW World Champion, or will Victor Wolf retain? We shall find out in less than 30 minutes. 
Both end lock up. Little chain rolls need to start off. A waist lock by Victor. Waist lock taken out by Victor. Holding on to the waist. And he shoves Dave down. Right hand counter by Victor. A swing and neck breaker. Dave a sweep relief from Reed Victor. Misses with a kick. Dave with some back elbow counters. Dave with a short delayed uh, <clears throat> vertical suplex. Kicks in the back but doesn't face a Victor one bit. European upper cut by Dave. And a drop kick. Cut punch counter by Victor. And a running crossbody but doesn't hold him down for a pin. Victor drags a Dave away from the ropes. Rams the armor to the mat. Victor going to work on the neck. Dave counters out of it with a punch to the gut. Whips to the corner. And a clothesline from behind. Misses the kick to the back. Ooh, what a neck breaker by Victor. Victor with a leg drop. Oh, looks like Victor's going for it. Victor is taking Dave to the suplex kingdom. Oh, Victor's gonna go for the pin. Oh, but Dave caught Victor with a drop kick. Close line counter by Victor. Front face line by Victor. He lets it go. Kicks it got by Dave. Headbutt counter by Victor. Kicks it got by Dave. Uh oh! Dave's got him. With a spike DDT. <clears throat> Drags a Victor away from the ropes. <clears throat> Dave goes for the pin. Only a one count and Victor kicks out, and Dave can't believe it. Back up a counter by Victor. Ooh, Dave with a needed head counter. Ooh! The SMD seeking to destroy out of nowhere. Could this be it? No, Victor kicks out at two. Dave with another knee drop. <clears throat> and Dave going to work on the neck. And it shoves a Victor down. Dave again going to work on the neck. Picks up Victor up. Goes for a kick. Nope. Elbow to the knee counter by Victor. <clears throat> Running cross body again. Clothesline counter by Dave. Oh, Dave going for a half crab. Victor trying to crawl, Victor trying to crawl, crawl the ropes. But like the referee was in the way. There we go. Victor kicks a Dave away. Right hand by Victor. Ooh, Victor with the decapitator. He's going to work on that neck for that victorious crossface. Uh oh, Victor's got him. One chap. Two chaps. Victor has a trifecta for the three chaps. Uh oh, is Victor going for it? Oh, he's got him. The victorious crossface. Dave's nearby the ropes though. Can he make it? Nope. Dave rolls out of it. <clears throat> by Shelby rolling out of that victorious crossface. European upper by Dave. Whips to the corner. Ooh, Victor with a knee to the side there. I think Dave was not going for that spike DDT using the top rope. But Victor countered it. Whips to the corner. Needed a face counter by Victor. 
Looks to the corner. Elbows in the side ahead by Victor. All oh, figuring over to Victoria's crossface. And again, Dave rolls out of it. Ooh, Victor with a rebound backbreaker. And Victor goes for the pin. Referee taking too long to get the position for the count. Dave kicks out at two. Dave rolls to the outside and comes right back in. Whips to the corner. Here it rolls in the corner. <clears throat> Dave throws a victory to the outside. For the Torpedo DDT. Big forearm counter by Victor. Arm drag counter by Dave. Fireman's carry counter by Victor. Forearm counter by Dave. Dave throws a Victor back into the ring. Now both men are back in. Ooh, Dave went for a nightbreaker with Victor counter out of it. <clears throat> Inverted atomic drop by Victor. Uh oh, can Victor go for it again? A third victorious crossface. Oh, but that time uh, Dave made it to the ropes. Victor again with the backbreaker. Looks like the fatigue starting to set in. And Victor's got a crowd right behind him. Looks quite strange because usually the, the fans don't really like Victor all that much. Judo hip toss countered by Victor. A clothesline. Another clothesline. Ducks underneath. Climb up dropping by Victor. Uh oh, Victor's going for it again. Victor is taking Dave to the Suplex Kingdom. Dave drives, I mean, Victor drives Dave away from the ropes and go for the pin. Victor Wolf retains the BCW World Championship. Going back to the replay, Victor had taken Dave to the Suplex Kingdom the first time around. <clears throat> Giving Dave the three chaps. And Victor with one of the three victorious crossface attempts. Now this is the third one where Dave got the ropes. This is of course a Victor's a second attempt at the Suplex Kingdom that only got him the pin the win and retain the VCW World Championship. Anyway, here's your winner of the match and still the VCW World Champion, Victor Wolf. And like I said last night, should Victor Wolf retain this championship, he and Victoria would go on to be the first ever brother and sister duo to hold the VCW World Championships in the men's and women's division. And now Victor must await the winner of the Royal Rumble match to see who he would take on against at the next clip review, Victory Kingdom The Redo. Tune in for the next one where we'll have the 30-man Royal Rumble match. See you then, and stay tuned.